previously oh, on the bill. You are right, careful, mate. Tell so your mate to shut up, will you? Shut up! Put someone in undercover. I'll do it. We need somebody who won't get emotionally involved. I can detach when I need to. You in? Freezing your backsides off watching a football match of all things. I would have thought you'd be a fan. You look the type. What a loud mouthed thug. Don't even know who's playing. Millwall versus Leighton Orient at the Den. Don't get me wrong, I like sports. I just don't get this obsession we have with football. I mean, it's nothing more than an excuse for otherwise perfectly normal people to behave like utter prats. Just be grateful for the overtime. It could be a lot worse. I suppose. It could be a blood sport like fox hunting or boxing. Uh, I've got your message, thank you. Morning, Mark. Looking forward to the derby. Yeah, briefing in half an hour, everyone. Right, uh, where's Smithy? Oh, I don't know. He must have been on holiday or something. I haven't seen him in a few days. Oh, I thought he'd jump at the chance of being at a football match. Isn't he more of a football fan than Inspector Gold? Why, Inspector Gold's into football? Yeah, same thing Governor likes more than football's boxing. OK, this is where we're at. Sergeant Dale Smith, now known as Lawrence Smith, went deep undercover just over a week ago. And he was hired as an armourer by this guy, Kieran Wallace, up-and-coming criminal. Got a reputation as a bit of a bruiser. Are uniform aware of Smithy's status? I'm about to bring them up to speed now, sir, but then again, I'm not sure of Smithy's status myself. It's been over a week now, and you don't seem to have any clearer idea of who or what you're dealing with. We know Wallace is working for someone who's bringing guns onto the streets of Canley. We know that Smithy's being lined up to reactivate and test these guns. What we need to know is who's running the operation. And where their supplies come from. They've been waiting for something? Yes, sir. Approval. From Wallace's boss. Who Smithy gets to meet today at the football. Yeah, we've made arrangements with Stadium Security to have access to their CCTV system. We'll track Smithy from the moment he approaches the stadium. This is our chance to move up the food chain. But you can't just leave Smithy in there indefinitely. It's too close to Sun Hill. It's too visible. Sir, any minute, he could run into somebody that he's nicked. We'll pull Smithy out the second there's any trouble. He's all on his own out there. Not exactly. He's set up in a lovely new flat with all the more cons, including the most sophisticated surveillance technology the Met can buy. Welcome to Smithy TV. Well, anyway, we've got his back. He's hardly alone. Yeah, and he's got a lovely new girlfriend. What girlfriend? Breakfast. Well, there's a bacon sandwich hiding in there somewhere. Do you want cholesterol levels, do you? I don't think so. I don't see this relationship last. <laughs> oh, well, it's good to see you haven't let yourself down on the order and discipline side of things. Well, I haven't had any choice, have I? So I've had no water for two days because apparently it's very, very difficult to find a decent plumber around here. Yeah, well, I'm sure Max is onto it. Yeah, of course she is. How's it going? I've been stuck in here for a week and all I've got to show for it is some empty pizza boxes and a bit of stubble. No, you've gained Wallace's trust. You've got to meet and set up with his boss. Yeah, well, I'll believe that when I see it, cos Wallace could be lying about that. No, I don't think so. I think he likes you. No, he likes Lawrence Smith. And you are Lawrence Smith for the time being. What's the matter? Don't you like your new identity? Well, I don't know, do I? I've got no idea what Wallace is capable of or what I'm capable of. Well, I can tell you one thing about Lauren Smith. He's turning into a right old slob. Lawrence! Get your lousy West Ham supporting ass out here! Wallace. What's he on? He said he was going to pick me up. I didn't think it was going to be this ugly. Oi! Just trying to get your attention. Yeah, well, you got it. Who are you? Lawrence Smith, this is Dennis Turner. You told me working today if things go to plan. Come on. On a pub, Went to whistle before the game. Well, it's just gone ten. The pub's ain't open for another hour. Which is why we bought takeaways. Typical hammer lightweight. One sniff of the barmaid's apron. Huh. Speaking of barmaids. What's all the racket? 
Kieran, this is Stevie, the bird I was telling you about. Bird? That isn't nice. Not now, sweetheart. Yeah, not now, sweetheart. Lawrence has got some drinking to do. No birds allowed. All oh, right, yeah. See, they made an exception for you, though, yeah? A nice time. Sergeant Smith is undercover. Yep. I told you you won't miss a game. Mum, I know it's a local derby, but haven't things been fairly quiet recently? Yes, they have. But 48 hours ago, Borough Intelligence picked up some chatter on rival fans' websites. And one in particular has got stadium security very nervous. A promise from an unofficial Orient site saying they will welcome the home fans with a bang. In fact, the match has been upgraded to a Category C security risk. Right. Needless to say, on a day like today, we do not want crowd trouble. And where are we being posted, Mum? You and me are going to be helping out local police units at South Bermondsey Station. Keep an eye on the away fans as they make their way to the ground. And Roger? Mum? You're on pub duty. Specifically, the port and arms and the rat and crown. Um, what about me, Mum? You're with me. <laughs> as a notorious football fanatic, but usually very sensible inspector, might use the match as an excuse to behave like a brat. All right. Mum, Stevie's just called. Wallace has picked up Smithy. All right, uh, we're leaving now. I'll meet you in the control room at the stadium, OK? All right, that's it, people. Now, I know match day policing can be a bit boring, but boring is what we want, all right? Now, stay focused. And remember, we're clearing the way for Smithy, OK? Sierra 1, Sierra 1, there's Hammond Park, reports of children causing a disturbance. Multiple informants, over. Sierra 1, Sierra 1, Sierra 1, Sierra 1, Sierra 1, Sierra 1. You be careful now, will, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, enjoy the hopscotch. <laughs> Oh, cheer up. It's only a football match. I'll well, be there, to be honest. No offence, but I can't see this being very exciting. It's pretty quiet around here. <laughs> you right, Beth? What was that? Where'd you get these lot from? I found them. Yeah, we know that. We also know you use them to terrify people in the park. What we need to know is where you found them. Jason? Look, they're not your everyday firework. They're Category 4 for professional use only. It's illegal to possess them without a licence and they're supposed to be stored carefully because they're volatile. They're explosives. But they're not just left lying around, Jason. I was just missing a bath. For goodness sake, Jason, just tell the police where you got the stupid thing so we can go home. I'm knackered. I found them in the garage at home. What are you doing there? Ryan will kill you. Like I'm scared of him. Who's Ryan? Your dad? No way. Ryan's Jason's stepdad. Had to have our first child if she'll ever come out. Two weeks of a joke, can you believe it? Do you know why Ryan would have fireworks in your garage? No. Maybe they're to celebrate the birth. I'll take it Ryan's not a licensed firework handler, then. You said this garage is off-limits. What is Ryan doing here? I don't know. Bloke stuff, I guess. What, like, illegally store dangerous fireworks? There's nothing in it. Jason, you better not have been telling Fibs just to get Ryan in trouble. I'm not. There was a couple of boxes in here this morning. Ryan must have taken them with him in the car. A couple of boxes? Who's got that much in his car? Well, all it will take is a spark. What? What is it? Right, we need to find Ryan before he blows himself up and anyone else in the vicinity. You got any idea where he might have taken the car? Well, it's Saturday, isn't it? He'll be at the football. And he never misses a match, and it's the derby today, isn't it? His name's Ryan Fuller. He was cautioned two years ago for assault, but he's been clean ever since. We're sure the fireworks are in the back of the car? Well, we can't be certain, but under the circumstances... What's he thinking, taking fireworks to a football game? Well, where on earth did he get them, anyway? I contacted all the fireworks suppliers in the area and gave them the batch numbers of the rockets that we took from Jason Patterson. They matched those stolen from a crazy Craig's warehouse on Philbert Road last night. Well, why hadn't they reported it? Well, they only realised this morning that it had been broken into. Here's a list of the items. One box of Roman candles, one box of mortified shells, and one box of rockets. 
all containing a significant amount of gunpowder. Yeah, apparently the mortar shells are part of a dodgy shipment that Crazy Craigs were about to return. Dodgy? Unstable, sir. Could go off at any moment. Why would Ryan Fuller steal a bunch of fireworks? Well, I'm thinking they were stolen specifically for the game. Borough Intelligence picked up on some internet chat about greeting the home fans with a bang. You think he's planning to let them off at the game? Well, if he sets them off in the crowd or they go off on their own accord... It'd be chaos. I mean, it could cause a stampede. Right, I want photos of Ryan Fuller and a description of his car sent to Gina in the stadium control room now. We need to find this idiot before he causes some serious damage. Sir. Right. Proceed, Mum. How's it going? Fine. Very little aggro. Well, it's just grassroots stuff, isn't it? Everybody's here, have a good time. It's a nice atmosphere. Did you get Inspector Gold's message? Yeah, that's why we're here. All right. Come on. <clears throat> right. This is Ryan Fuller, an away fan. Now, he drives a blue Ford Focus, index Lima Delta 05, Delta Yankee Alpha. It's all down there. If you see him approaching the stadium, you detain him immediately. Do not allow him to park his car in the grounds. If it's already here, then cordon it off and call me straight away. Do not approach the vehicle under any circumstances. Understood? Why? What's the signing? Well, if Beth and Will are correct, the boot is filled with professional display fireworks packed with gunpowder. Now, Mr Fuller may be intended to let one of those off inside the stadium, and we are not going to let that happen. Understood? This is our number one priority, Mum. We've already got Roger and the Rat and Crown. We're meant to start clearing the home fans from their pubs. And now, you just do what you're supposed to be doing, but keep your eyes peeled. Thank you very much. Come on. Right. That is decaf, right? You heard anything? Not yet. Any chance you can tell us where Ryan might be? Like where he's sitting at the match? There must be a way to contact him. I told you, Ryan doesn't take his mobile on match days. Saturdays are for the footy, he doesn't want to be disturbed. But you're about to have a baby. It's not like I don't know where he is. There's plenty of time for the stewards to put out an emergency call. And, and anyway, I'm sure this is also a big misunderstanding. This isn't Ryan. He loves his footy, but he's no thug. Yeah, but he's all right now. Don't talk about your stepdad like that. Look, can you just calm down, please? You get anything more from me? Oh, yeah, headache, sir. Sir, facial imaging have got a hit off the man I saw with Wallace. His name's Dennis Turner. He's done time for GBH, aggravated burglary, assault with intent to rob the works. Anything to look into Kieran Wallace? Oh, nothing so far. I'll keep digging. But at the moment, it looks as though whoever's pulling Wallace's strings is putting together an entirely new crew. Not too choosy, either. This Turner's an animal, by the looks of it. Let's see if Smithy stays on his good side. Oh, well, he's a charmer, sir. How do you think he managed to land a catch like me? <sighs> Your girlfriend got quite a mouth for that. Hmm. You don't know the half of it. Cute, though. How long have you been going out? Do you know what? It feels like forever. She thinks she's funny. Where'd you meet her? The comedy club. Do you know what? Shut up, you're boring. Oh, I call it, fellas. We're one big happy family today, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, they got Thanks for that. You're starting to get my nerves. Well, I can see that. Interesting. First time I've seen you with a temper on. You got a dark side, all right? Well, I don't know, Kieran, don't we all? What's he doing? Well, I seriously got to work with that. Well, the guns that you fix aren't going to do much good without his ammo, are they? Here's your ammunition supply. What, <laughs> you disapprove? Well, nothing set in stone. Dennis has got to apply for the position. Much like yourself. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. On your way, please. Thank you. Come on, let's get to the match. Where's he going? Come on, sir. Game's about to start. Thank you. We're not ready. Wait. That's up to you, mate. You can either go to the match now or not at all. Are you threatening me? Old timer. Turner, come on. It's my shout at the back of the ground. Come on. Let's get out of here. Leave the old bill to it. What's the state 
is with the fireworks suspect? We've had spotters on every road and access point for 45 minutes, right? Either he's inside already or he's not coming at all. Let's pray for the latter. This is Peter Taylor, he's head of stadium operations. OK, well, don't worry, we'll find him. We've got everybody looking. That's part of the problem. All the uniforms swarming around. What if Wallace's boss gets spooked? I don't think you quite understand, dear Carter. Those fireworks contain black powder, it's called gunpowder, and lots of it. Do I need to paint a picture? It's like letting a bomb off in that stadium. And I've just about learned my lesson where the safety of my officers are concerned. Thank you very much. It's very good gold. PC Valentine here. Smith has just left the Rat and Crown pub not two minutes ago. Thank you. The Rat and Crown. That means we'll be heading up Stanbeck Road, about 300 yards in. Was you with anyone? Yeah, Akira and Wallace and one other. That's probably Dennis Turner who was with him this morning. There they are. Now that we have him, we can track your man into almost any part of this stadium. You know the drill? Anybody Smithy speaks to, you send that image to Stevie Moss at Sun Hill. Okay. Brass three. Go ahead. We've located the suspect vehicle in the South Stand car park. I'm setting up cordons at 200 metres, but it's getting uncomfortably close to the stadium, Mark. If he's parked in the South Stand car park, then he'd be in the northwest wing of the away stand. We can find him with the cameras. Yeah, but there's thousands of people in that stand. Just watch. Come on, baby. Do your thing. 30. Clear the car park of people and prevent anyone entering at all entrance and exit points. We're going to locate the owner of the vehicle on the CCTV system and bring him to the car park. All received. This one's a suspect car. That one. It seems like the game's about to start. Yeah. Smith. That's Johnny. Less fits. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Now, none of them's a boss. All in good time, mate. All in good time. Is that so? <clears throat> we found him, Ryan Fuller. That's my little girl. I'll have some stewards pick him up. No, 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 no. no. He could be hiding anything under that jacket. We need to bring him to us. Separate him from the crowd without tipping him off. Yeah. yeah, but how? Ryan is about to become a dad. And he's about to get some very good news. This is the morning announcement. Would Mr. Ryan Fuller, seat number 267 Road Wide, please make your way to St. Hughes' Hospital as your wife has just gone into labour. Uh, there's nothing on him, Mum. If they're ready for fireworks, they must still be in the car. All right, has he been cautioned? Are you choosing not to remain silent, Mum? Yeah, you're damn right I'm not going to remain silent. I've got to get to the hospital. My wife's in labour. Uh, no, you don't, Mr Fuller. That was a ruse to get you out here so we could have a little chat. We believe you have fireworks hidden in the boot of your car. This doesn't make any sense. I haven't touched a firework since I was ten years old. Unless you tell us the truth, we will have to evacuate the stadium and perform a controlled explosion in your vehicle. If I wasn't handcuffed like a common criminal, I'd open the boot and show you there's nothing in there. Where's your key? It's in my pocket, go on. Ta da Someone's taking you for a ride. Perhaps. Perhaps you got the fireworks somewhere else. At least you didn't get them into the stadium. You finished wasting my time? Can I go back to the match? I've never had any fireworks to bring anywhere. No, you can discuss that back at the nip with my officers. Get rid of him. Go on. Fletcher. PC Wolf Fletcher. Look, Ryan, this is stupid. You can get a copy of the tape after the interview. This is for me. So I know exactly what it is I'm going to be suing over this farce. Yeah? You've got a solicitor to do that for you. Ryan, these are the facts as we know them. Last night at 3.47am, the warehouse on Filbert Road was broken into. Several boxes of fireworks were stolen. Rockets were the same batch number as those stolen boxes were found this morning in the possession of Jason Patterson, your stepson. Jason? Jason tells us that he found the fireworks in your garage. We need to know where the rest of the fireworks are before someone blows themselves up. I bet his father put him up to this. How do you mean? At 3.47am, I was on a job doing some emergency plumbing. I can check on my firm if you want. 
Jason's been telling you some fibs. Why would he do that? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? He's coming with his old man. Travis Patterson? Nah, he's a thief and headcase from way back. Jason was supposed to be staying with him last night. Now you're telling me some warehouse was turned over and Jason's got his hands on some of them. Put two and two together. That's all of them. He said he went to get a coke. I guess that was quite a while ago. I was waiting for Ryan. You didn't say Jason had to stay here. Yeah, well, it looks like he's been telling Paul Keys, doesn't it? Is it possible he could be covering for his dad? Travis? No more than likely. Travis poisoned Jason against Ryan from the moment we started going out. Why? Well, Travis is a lifelong Millwall fan, isn't he? He's never been sure what's worse, the fact that I left him, or the fact that I left him for an Orient fan. Um, Inspector Dole, would you mind taking a look at this? Oh, hello. Ain't candy camera, kiddo. I'll get security to run him off. No, it's all right, Mel. Get down to the South Stand car park and go and frighten the life out of him. My pleasure, ma'am. You're telling me we've got the wrong man? Well, we don't know for sure, sir. Right now, I don't know what to think. Sir, Ryan was out on a bike, checks out. There's no way he ripped off that warehouse. Jason got the fireworks from somewhere. What have we got in the father? Where's Travis Patterson? He's got four for burglary and theft. He was also cautioned for assault at a football match. So what if Travis has the fireworks at the game? Maybe Jason's gone to warn him. Right, I need the gents. No, no. It's time. from Bronze 3. We've got a problem. We think you've still got a car full of fireworks in the stadium. The car belongs to a Travis Patterson. The car you're looking for is a blue Volkswagen Polo. He's got something to get Mel out of there now. Mel aboard! Mel, get out of there! Too much smoke around the back of the car. You want me to check? Mom? Oh, no, 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 it's too dangerous. Okay, well, I'll set up and then cordon around the car. Ben, set up and cordon. Okay. Travis Patterson. I've got his seat number, a season ticket holder. All right, 30, Sergeant, go to the West Stand, Row D, seat 172, to Travis Patterson. And remove him quietly, but tell him if he doesn't tell us what's in his car, the bomb squad will blow it up. Oh, no, no. What is it? Smithy and Wallace, they've gone. You all right? Fine, thanks. I was talking to my officer. I'm fine, thank you, ma'am. Can I just say what a fantastic day I'm having at the football? We really should all do it again sometime. Oh, what have you done to my car? Oh, Travis Patterson? Yeah. Mr. Patterson, what have you got in your car? You people are responsible for scratching my car up like that. No, he is. The one who looks like he's just crawled out of the chimney. Jason, what are you doing here? Sorry, Dad. They know about the staff. I tried to warn you. You ain't said nothing, have you? Tell me you ain't said nothing. Well, what is in your car? Just a few rockets and a smoke cylinder, that's all. The rest of the stuff's at the flat. What's it matter? What's the big deal? It's just a few fireworks. No big deal. You are both under arrest for burglary. Mel, get them down the nick. Yeah. Let the FME look over the boy. Yeah. Sean, get yourself back down the nick with Mel. Right, we need to get someone over to Patterson's flat to search those fireworks and make them safe. 
get his car towed, and then you're going to have to take over from me in the control room, all right? If you need me, I'll be at the neck. Mark. How big is this, Grant? Feels like we're walking around this, sir. Yeah, well, there's nothing like a private box for a private chat. to join us. Mr. the cutler, these are the men you wanted to see. This is Lawrence Smith, the man figures recommended to us, and Dennis, you already know. Mr. Smith, we meet at last. Did I say something funny? No, I just got the weirdest feeling then that I was in a Bond film. It's been a long day, sorry. I understand. Have a seat. Drink? Uh, no, thanks. I've had more than enough. Thanks to you, mate, yeah. Um, aren't you going to open the blinds? The football started again. I'm not here for the game, Mr Smith. Right. Yeah, um... I haven't made the best first impression ever. No, Lawrence. You haven't. Please tell me you've got something. We've narrowed it down. This is the playback of the tape. This is where they move off at half time. This is on the East End Concourse where they come down here and out for an exit there. So what, they've left the ground? It's OK, they came back in. Yeah. And what is this? Private boxes. We've got a bit of business to discuss. We could do without any more distractions. Max Gillen to Stevie. Tell her Tango One has delivered the package. It cost a season ticket to the den. Mum, what are you doing here? Mum, is this right that you want the whole family arrested? No, nah, leave Jason out of this. What's he done? Disturbing the peace, and mine in particular. Well, what about Ryan Fuller? Well, what about him? Why can't somebody else take responsibility around here? Just for one minute, please. I'm now back in the building. Okay, I'll get Ryan processed and released. Thank you very much, Beth. Sergeant Stern said you came back to the Nick. Have you got a minute? Uh, I'm not sure, sir. It's... it's Smithy. We know who he's working for. I'm on my way. Darren Cutler, 57, East End, born and bred. He's got form for everything from kidnapping to armed robbery to drug smuggling. This guy's been around the block, Gina. Ring any bells? Well, the name's familiar, but I just can't place it. Well, according to this, he did a four-year stretch for manslaughter. He pleaded guilty to avoid a murder trial. Then disappeared. Nothing for two years. Two years? Well, what's he been doing for two years? Well, that's what we need Smithy to find out. You plan to keep Smithy in there? I've got a really bad feeling about this, sir. Well, I can't pull a major UC operation on the strength of a bad feeling. No, but I think this is really dangerous. It's not your call, Gina. Yeah, I stole the fireworks the other night. It was a joke, just a bit of fun. What kind of fun? I don't know. Go down to the park after the game, let off a few rockets, celebrate if we won. You don't know the score, do you? No, Travis, we don't. So where'd you steal the fireworks from, Travis? Warehouse. Which warehouse? Oh, I don't know. I was drinking. It was spur of the moment. What do you care anyway? What does it matter? It matters, because scenes of crime are just lifted two sets of fingerprints from the window used to gain entrance at a warehouse, neither of which match yours. See, we got yours on record a few times over. I was wearing gloves, when I? I thought you said it was spare of the moment. You see, if you didn't steal the fireworks, then who did? And how did they end up in the back of your car? Look, I told you, I took the gear. If you don't want to believe me, that's your lookout. No, I leave it out. <laughs> Having fun. Yeah, you know what they say? Change is as good as a rest. So what do you reckon, Roger? Quick cup of coffee, back to the deck, catch a final whistle. Yeah, anybody know what the score is? Yeah. Well, not in a football, I take it. Well, let's say a lot of the hobbies. 
What's the inspector like to work for? Why? Give me a heart, Tom. Nah, it's just that... She's tough but fair. You won't find anyone better to watch your back. Must be me, then. I mean, I keep saying the wrong thing and, like, putting my foot in it. Cos, like, this morning, she was a bit of a dragon lady, no. and we went to the footy, and she couldn't have been more concerned about me. But by the time we got back, she was proper narky with me and Beth. She's just a bit moody. Is she behind me? Yep. PC Rider, didn't I tell you to sort out the Fullers and the Patterson, or was I just imagining that? You wait till I get you out. Please, 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 I think I'm having contractions. Mum? Oh, God, the baby's coming. What? Oh. Darren Cutler. Oh, I'm like Genus, sir. The name's familiar, but I can't quite place it. Have you got a copy of his file? Sergeant Stone just brought it through. <whistles> Been around the block, hasn't he, this Cutler? A couple of warrants that are standing against him? Yeah, what concerns me is not what he's done, but what he's come back to do. Exactly. He's been off the radar for two years. What's he been doing? Making contacts, preparing. Stevie, have we got anything that links Cutler to Wallace or this Turner guy? Nothing apparent. We have to assume he's got a relationship with Wallace, though, considering he's using him to bring in all the skills he needs. Well, it's those skills that are worrying me. He's an armourer, an ammunition guy. We know he's getting into the gun trade, but we need to know how deep. We'll know more once Smithy reports back. How much is Cutler going to tell him in this meeting? Gene is pretty adamant that we pull him out soon. Uh, no, 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 we can't do that. We've just touched the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah, we need to pull him out. We need to pull him out, and we need to pull him out now. Neil, what is it? The four-year stretch that Cutler did for manslaughter. The last year of it, he served at Longmarsh. So what? Cutler was in Longmarsh at the same time Smithy was there, on remand for Louise Larson's murder. Sir, everyone in Longmarsh knew that Smithy was a copper. If you don't mind me asking, where have you been? What do you mean? Well, you seem to be heading up a pretty major operation, and, uh Well, I've never heard of you. So I figure you must have been somewhere else. Let's just say I've built a fact-finding tool for the last two years. Two years? You must have found a few facts. Potentially very profitable. Profitable for various people if they have the required skills. Well, I've got skills and I like profit. You just tell me what you need. Are you familiar with a Mac 10? It's a type of pistol. Yeah, blowback operated selective firing set machine gun. I know what a Mac 10 is. And it's more machine gun than pistol. We've got a source who can lay his hands on some, but I have my doubts about the quality of the merchandise. This source wouldn't be slavic by any chance, would it? In the region, yeah. And you'd like me to check over the guns, make sure they're kosher? Sure. Easy. Good. Now, Mac 10, that's a serious bit of firepower. You planning on starting a war or finishing one? Well, I miss me mouth. It's not the weirdest sense of deja vu. Something about the way you move just then, really familiar. Like I'd seen you do it before. Like we'd met. Where have I met you before? We need to do something now. This could have been a setup from the beginning. I don't think so, Gov. Look, they're still in there. I'm pretty certain his cover's still intact. Yeah, but for how long? Well, if we just go in there, then his cover will be blown and we'll have nothing. Smith is the only one that can know what to do himself, isn't he? So we have to find a way of letting him know the danger he's in so that he can decide what to do. And how am I going to do that? I can't just ring him up. You can't, but his girlfriend can. Let's just try and get you comfort. No, 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 try not to push. I know it's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Well, 
I hope your baby delivered on my station floor. Why is that ambulance? They said they're on the way, Mum. It's all right, Hillary. The ambulance is on its way. Mum, this is my fault. <sighs> no, it's not, darling. I can assure you, this one's all down to Ryan. I saw those fireworks. I'm not dead. It was all just a stupid day. But your dad confessed. He was covering for me. I'm sorry, Mum. You choose this moment to admit to a crime. You're supposed to be cheering her up. See, it's the nicest thing I've heard for a long time. Your dad did that for you. Good on him. When they picked me up this morning, I didn't want to get Dad in trouble, so I blamed it on Ryan. It's all right, mate. I'm sorry. I wish none of this had ever happened. This blood. There's not supposed to be this much blood, is there? Do you if I take a look? <sighs> Well, we're going to need to bring the van round to the front. She's losing far too much blood. We've got to get her to hospital. We're going to have to take her ourselves. She's not going to die, is she? I mean, you, you won't let that happen, eh? Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't go to war. Excuse me? Just before you asked if I was going to start a war with the Mac-10s, the answer is no. It's not good business. Good business is selling to those already at war. To both sides, if possible. The Mac-10s are for the street. Like I said, you're quick. Yes, the street gangs have the cash to buy Mac-10s. And the will to use them. It'll be carnage. Luckily, there seems to be an inexhaustible supply to create a further demand. Now, if you have a problem with that, I can always get someone else. And why would I have a problem with that? Sometimes business can be brutal. I need people who can hold their nerve. Can you hold your nerve? Lawrence? It's the girlfriend, do you mind? Take it. Hello, darling. Are you OK to talk? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Right, listen. Cutler was in Longmarsh the same time as you. Right, um, well, that would explain that. So is your cover still solid? Yeah, for now. The skipper wants to pull you out now. Darling, listen, I can't begin to tell you how wrong that is. Look, I need you now more than ever, and you need me. Just give me a little bit more time. Understand? No deal. We're going to wait until you and Wallace are clear, and then Uniform are going to pick Cutler up outside the stadium. I really don't think that that's a good idea. I can sort this, I promise. It's out of your hands now, Smithy. I'm sorry. OK, well, you do whatever it is you think you need to do, right? There's that thing again you do with your shoulders. I'm sure I've seen you do that before. You ever been in prison? Once or twice. You? Yeah. Where? Long march. Two years ago. That'll be it. That's a bit odd. Long march isn't that big a place. Why is it? I only just remember your face. I wasn't there for very long. Three months. Long enough. Yep. Especially on a category A remand wing. Murder? Yeah. Who you got off? All charges dropped. Did you do it? No. Funny. I did. I pleaded manslaughter. By the time I got sent down a long marsh, I'd been downgraded to Category B. Well, that explains it. That's why our paths never crossed. Good. It's been vexing me. I don't like that. Boss, the place is crawling. More coppers than usual. How visible are you? Been around. What would I do without any police at the moment? Yeah, that makes two of us. Oh, Hold on, Hillary. We're almost there. We'll be there in a few minutes. It's funny. I don't feel any pain anymore. I'm just tired. Really tired. Oh, yeah. Let's go sleep. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Wake. Come on. Don't go to sleep. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Will you get a move on? Why shall we? Come on. You've got to stay awake, all right? Let's go, go, come on.
Okay, they're heading for gangway C. Where are they going now? Toilet. No, there's no cameras inside the gents. Sorry. What is all my stopping? It's stopping. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Hillary! Daryl Cutler! Cutler, you under... Smithy, what are you doing? What I had to do now. Back off in case someone's watching. Patrol, were you watching that? Yeah, what happened? Smithy swapped places with Cutler. Just let him go away. Get Stevie around to Smithy's place. Find out what he's playing at. She's beautiful, isn't she? You've got a terrible habit of springing out from nowhere, do you know that? You should go in there. Hillary was asking after you. No, it's their moment, not mine. Mum, can I just say? You were brilliant today. Everything just went haywire left, right, and centre, and you just ploughed on. You're brilliant. No, I wasn't. Just doing my job. You just shouldn't have gone extracurricular, Smithy. It's dangerous. Well, I wouldn't have needed to if you'd only listened to me. We were listening, and the answer was no. It's too late now, though, isn't it? It was reckless. Haven't you listened to a single word that I have said? Cutler has contacts, Russians possibly, maybe serve. And they have MAC-10s. Have you got any idea what they can do? They are military issue, and now he wants to sell them to the streets. It would have been reckless of us not to try and do something to stop that. We would have done something to stop it, you know that. Do you know who Cutler is? He is the fella who supplies the guns which kill the Carly Samuels of this world. Now he wants those guns to be machine guns. Smithy, you can't make this personal. I'm sorry, but it's too late for that. Look, I didn't ask for this, remember? They came to me! Right, so you started it, well, I'm gonna finish it! Next time on The Bill. Is that? Oh. We are on schedule and ready to do the deal. When you are. So what, you're gonna shoot me?